Guatemala comes from uh, a very torn apart past. Uh, we underwent an internal armed conflict that lasted 36 years, over 200,000 dead. It was terrible because the children didn't dream, the young people didn't dream, and the teachers, they said, why we have to teach them to dream if they don't have any future? First I have, um, you know, I have all the ideas in my mind and, and I think we need three steps. The first is your own dream, then a dream for your community and to do some little project for your community. So you can understand that you are part of the solution of the, of the problems of Guatemala. And the third was, you know, a big dream for the country. We didn't have a strategic a horizon to strive for, uh, the rest would have been much more complicated. But once we had that with the leadership of our star minister, <laughs> Maria del Carmen, then the crucial issue was how can we go about transforming the teachers? Uh, because it was not enough to change the content of the programs. We, we needed a substantial change in those who educate. So educators needed education. You cannot teach what you do not live yourself, and this project requires the, the students to live in a proactive way and to take charge of their own lives. So first, the teachers had to learn that, and that proactivity we learned by the Seven Habits uh, Seminar. So after taking that training, I could live proactivity in my own life and I learned how to give that extra mile and how it is important to make that extra effort to be proactive and to be assertive in whatever you do. Cuando empezamos con la capacitación, when we started taking the seven habits training, we started discovering ourselves as people. And we realized that there was so much inside of us that we have left behind. And that was affecting everybody around us, even our students. I grew personally. I act with a different conviction. And I know that I still have life, and while I still have life, my life is a project, and I can make a difference. And that's what I will teach my students. We have observed that their quality of life has improved. They have improved as teachers, and this new enthusiasm has been taken into the classrooms. They have channeled all this new energy and knowledge to their own students. And I have observed when I go and I check the, the work they're doing in their classrooms that this kind of language and energy has been shared among them. At first, uh, it was sort of a self-exploration process because they asked about what, what were your goals and uh, what were the things that you wanted to do in life. My life project began with my desire to succeed. I want to be a person uh, that other people come to when they want advice. I want to uh, be a person that people trust. I want to help people that need help. The way I'm going to be a great person is by being a journalist because I believe that uh, being a journalist is uh, giving the world the truth and what Guatemala needs the most is someone that gives the real truth and doesn't hide anything. I do believe that each one of us has the power to make changes in Guatemala. 
I think that once you know the knowledge and you prepare yourself and really wanting to do things, you will be able to do the changes. And with this knowing and establishing what are your personal goals, you can help better others in your community because you already know what you want to do and you can see better, you have a better visual projection of what everyone wants. So your project was to go into a school in and the countryside change. and change the colors to make it a happier place. It's just that we chose the school because when we went to the school, it was a black school. It had black walls, dark green walls and brown walls. You didn't want to come here. It was gloomy, it was sad. It was a place where we thought children wouldn't even try to study or to do anything, right? So we said maybe we can be part of the solution. So we came here and work hard and painted the school so that the atmosphere could be, could be nicer, uh, children could be happy and could come to study happily. With this, with this project I learned that with two hours of your time you can do a lot of help in the community or make a big difference and just finish to paint a wall of a school or just finish to chat with one of the little students or one of the little kids in the public school. With this two hours of your time, you really made a big change, so it's proactive. You have to really use and make a better use of your time than just being around watching TV or doing nothing. And to be a good Guatemalan, I want to, I also want to be a business administration administrator, and I want to have a, a company that is good to employees, that, that is conscious, that puts, uh, that puts herself in employees' shoes, and that is friendly with the environment. To contribute to Guatemala, I would like with any funds or in any way to pass happiness to people in need here in Guatemala so I, could, I can help uh, Guatemala to overcome its current situation in many different aspects so everybody can unite and come together to be a better country.